if you are somebody who is looking to learn more about change management, if you're somebody who is looking to be more influential in your organization, if you are somebody who is hoping to be uh, helping with change management projects in your organization, in this video, we're gonna be able to help you with that. I'm gonna go through and answer those questions one by one. Who's responsible for change management comes in at question number seven on the top 10 most Googled questions around change management. Who's responsible? We're all, we're all responsible for change management. Uh, it, you know, depending on who sits with the responsibility and accountability around the organization's objectives and targets is obviously going to be part of a big responsibility. But when we think about people, data and process, you know, who are the process champions, who are process owners, they're gonna be involved. Obviously the, the senior leadership of a particular part of the business is gonna be involved. Uh, and obviously end users are gonna be involved. So we can start thinking, you know, we can start thinking about categorization of key roles in change management. There can be decision makers, executive decision makers, there can be internal influencers, there can be change managers, there can be blockers, there can be end users. Those are all the types of people that are gonna be involved in a change management process and responsible for key parts of the change management process. So the, you know, the benefits we're looking for at the end of change management process are realized. And I think that's the key goal is having everybody on board that the organization is looking to achieve these particular benefits of a change management process.